What's going on guys? JJ Yank here and today I'm going to be reviewing the Terra Blade in my quest to find the best weapon in the game. So the first one I'm going to be doing is the Terra Blade because I know it is probably by the looks the best uh weapon in the game. By looks it is. Maybe not like in the overall, but this is going to be the first one I review in my hunt to find the best weapon in Terraria. It'll be my opinion, but I'll be like testing it out and stuff, so um, first of all, this thing starts off with a base damage of 80 melee damage, and you can get it upgraded if you craft it and get lucky, but this is its base damage, uh, 80, 4 critical, very fast speed, it's really powerful, just there, but it is pretty tough to craft. I'll show you how to craft it here in just a second, but that might be one of its only drawbacks is how to craft it, because it is actually quite, it's, I mean, it's worth crafting it for sure, but it is one of the harder things to craft in this game. So I guess I'll show you how to craft it here. All right, guys, to craft the Terra Blade, what you're going to need is you're going to need the um, let's see if I can do this. Uh, the True Knight's Edge, the True Excalibur, and also the Broken Hero Sword. And then to get the True Excalibur, you're gonna need the Broken, um, Hero Sword and the Excalibur, and then for the True Knight's Edge, so on and for so forth. And the way you get, uh, the Broken Hero Sword is it drops from, it's like a 1 in 250 chance of dropping from Frankenstein, so... You get it that, and then it's it's a long, complicated process, but that's the basis. And if you need to learn how to craft the Excalibur, just look it up on the wiki, because that's a lot to cover. So that's how you craft it. All right, now that you know how to craft it, as you can see, it is a lot of resources. I mean, if you have the resources, it's definitely worth it to put in this, because it also has a ranged attack. But you're going to need a lot of broken hero swords. But that's um that's that. Let's see what else to say about it. This thing is very, it's probably one of the best melee damage, just, like, hit. If you hit someone, it probably does the most damage. Um, DPS, damage per second. There might be some that shoot faster and get more damage per second. So, that'd be it. But it doesn't take any mana. So, you don't need to worry about, like, getting mana potions and stuff. Stuff like that. But, if you just get this set of armor, and I go hunting... I will show you what this thing can do. So, here's what it can do in action. All right, here's some. Here's the weapon in action, and I have no uh, additional stats. So this is what it's like with uh, no stuff on it. But if I go ahead and equip all of my armor and stuff, which I'm wearing hollowed, and then you can take a look at that stuff. It this thing does well over a hundred damage. So. Every single time, pretty much here. As you can see, it does well over 100 damage every time. And sometimes getting crit hit up to like 300 almost. I think the highest I ever got was like high 200s, low 300s, I think. Let's see if I can. Let's test it out on these guys. And it also has a ranged attack. 302, as you can see there. But Terrorblade is very strong, I will admit. But that's it in action. So as you can see, it does quite a ton of damage. Um, you saw me kill that eye, pretty much a one hit, because that's with nothing, but now 124, 29% critical damage. I'm wearing the men Menacing Warrior, Emblem, Power Glove, Fire Gauntlet, Steampunk Wings, and the Destroyer Emblem, and then Hollowed Armor. So as you can see, that is it in action. So, um, 1 through 10, I'm going to rate this weapon at 10 being the highest, greatest, a 9.2. The drawback is how hard it is to craft, and it's only melee, and it has, and it doesn't, like, hit super fast. Like, if you're away, it can only shoot probably one, maybe two every second with a, like, a ranged weapon, maybe can shoot three, four seconds, so that could be a drawback, that's my only drawback, so I'm going to rank it a 9.2 in my opinion, worth it, and it's also quite the hassle to craft, so that's my overall opinion on the Terra Blade, um, stay tuned 
for the next one and at the end after I and leave leave some oh yeah leave comments saying which weapon you think I should review next that you think may be one of the best weapons in the game and then at the end stay tuned because I will announce the overall best weapon in Terraria in my opinion so hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great day see you guys